So from this movement, oh yeah, from this movement, we derive the separate objects, the separate surfaces, and determine how fast they're moving, their speed along this course. And if you like, the position on the grid, on, on the two-dimensional grid that we see them. And then identifying them as separate areas. This is the function here of seeing the surface and then recognizing that surface the next time it's seen. You see what I mean? It's, you see a surface and then the next time it's seen there's the click. This is always the principle. Always the principle. We see something and then the next time we see it, we recognize. The next time we see a part of an object, we recognize the whole object. Next time we see, say, someone's foot, we know that the whole person is there. By seeing that image, that certain image, we can see one corner of a the street, then we have know the whole town, we recognize where we are. If there's no certain image, then we're lost. There's so nothing to fit it into, into our old script scheme, a whole surface. See, this is how the tree of meaning grows in our minds. And it was our understanding, you know, of experience. And, and then we get this cartoon happening that we're seeing. And this car different frames of this cartoon from the quantum level accumulate and form the, the relativity level, the space time. So we get space and time from. And then from going through time, we, we get the idea of a self, of the driver. And here we get the driver, there's his accelerator, there's his steering, steering at the point. See what I mean? It functions into a whole structure. This will be explained in my autonomous system videos and artificial intelligence control system videos. This is what I want you to, you to do to understand. If you understand the artificial intelligence control system, or you understand the unified field theory, or you understand the developmental psychology, <coughs> then it's understanding <coughs> that there is a common understanding behind and beneath and betwixt and between, based upon the structure of the twelve uh, of the ten dimensions. Here we come on <coughs> to what is called <coughs> the five element, which is more correctly called the six elements, because you know the, the five is the element of princely fire, which is light. But that light then creates these five elements that the, you know the you know the Kabbalists call the ruach, but not the not the trap. That they, you know, Kabbalists with a K, track me. This is a functioning, fluid expression of our minds and spirits you know, from the infinite, from the divine incarnation, from Brahman into Vishnu, to, to Narayan, Rastafari, the anointed king. We can also see this as, you know, the, the, the different planetary oscillations of energy. So there you've got, there you've got the sun, there you've got the moon, and there you've got the earth. In astrology, you know, the rising sign, the moon sign, and the sun sign. Because this operates on a cosmic level. So this is the sun. And then this is the moon, and this is the earth. And it's through the oscillations of these three bodies that our minds have been developed. This is what I say there's pre verbal, a pre verbal oscillation in the energy which we then communicate. 
For example, each of these spheres has got an energy input of a personality, sorry, a, um, a sense, a sensory input, then a, an, ex, an energy output of a personality. So we each individually it received an input of energy as a sensory experience and then we've an output and then this happens over time. So there are many different aspects of ways of developing this structure into the tree of meaning and at each level there's those relationships develop and build and then there's the jumping from one, there's 64 of those but then there's the 4096 as these influence each other, these oscillation, energy oscillations which I've brought out in the game of Antarctic Hopscotch, which is the key to understanding the artificial intelligence control system about how all these relationships function, integrating, integrating the whole in functioning and understanding.